Hey, what's up guys? Hope everyone's doing well this weekend. I've got a new video. Hopefully you guys will enjoy it. Um, I like this little plugin. It's small. It's for the battery. It's a battery percentage plugin. So you can actually see if you have 50% left or 75, 82. Um, this is great. Uh, cell phones come with this regularly now. I don't understand why Sony never came out with uh, something like this. Because it really does help. So you know, like, how much um, battery life you got. But um, there's three versions of them. Please do not install the three plugins one after the other. If you don't like one of them, uninstall it and reinstall the other plugin. If you don't like that, uninstall it and, reinst and uh, install the third one. But please do not um, install three of them at the same time. Because otherwise you're going to do something really horribly wrong with... Uh, your Vita, and I'm sure you don't want it to be bricked, but um, one of the plugins is just the percentage right next to the battery, just tells you. The second one is kind of a neat one. Um, it shows the percentage along with um, the hard drive space on your URO drive, your two drives and stuff like that. Um, what you would have to do is hit the select button and the left or right bumpers, or triggers, you could call them, whatever you want to call it. And it will swap over to certain drives. So you could see um, how many um, megabytes or gigabytes you have left is in storage, which is kind of cool. Uh, I think that's a little neat trick and stuff like that. Um, the third one, eh, it's all right. Um, it shows the battery percentage, but it also shows your IP address, which I don't really understand why unless you're like a developer or something like that maybe i could see you needing like your ip address on on the taskbar but um other than that that one's not really i don't really care for that one um the one where you could see your hard drive space i do like um but for some reason hitting the select button and the left or right bumpers or triggers it's a little finicky. It doesn't, it does not, you have to really press down hard on the left or right bumper or trigger buttons. But um, it's kind of a cool little neat little um, add-on that this person did. Um, I do like just the percentage battery plugin where you don't have to see the IP address. You don't have to hit buttons to see other other things. Um, just a ba battery percentage Battery percentage is the best plugin there is. It's it's small. It's it's quick. So other than that, we might as well get uh, the show on the road. Let's get going. Also, before I forget, um, I'll leave the links down in the description. You're more than welcome to download the file manually through uh, the computer and drag and drop files, and then go to your config.txt file and add um, a string of code to make these work. Or you're more than welcome to use the auto plugin too, which you'll be seeing me do since it's so much easier, it's quicker. You don't need to type out code just to get these things going. So I highly suggest auto plugin too. Please download that if you don't want to start typing in code and whatever. But um, other than that, let's get going. All right, I'm just going to start off with the auto plugin menu. Um, if you have it, enter it. Um, Go to um, the plugins and then screw all the way down to where you first see a shell bat. And the nice thing is about this, if you hit the triangle, um, it brings up a box like what you see there. It tells you the description. Use your finger um, to scroll up and it'll show you more information. But auto plugin too is the best. One, one stop shop there. Once that's installed, Reboot your uh, Vita, which you have no choice anyway after you install um, plugins from the application. I'm just trying to get things closer, the screen closer, so it's not too blurry or too far away. Uh, I'm trying my best, guys. What can I tell you? But as you can tell on the right-hand corner, you'll see the percentage. That's all it gives you is the percentage. Who actually knows if it's legit or like if that's how much I have left? Because it looks quite full. looks like it could be 100%. But it says it's 76. But um, either way, at least it's something we could go off on now. 
which I enjoy and prefer to have a battery percentage icon. I think it's easier for me to uh, see where I'm at. So let's go back to auto plugin two. Hit start. Wait a few seconds to that application to load up. We're gonna uninstall this. Just hit yes, accept. Now what I do is I just exit and uh, it's going to tell me to reboot, so I do. I was going to uh, uninstall that file and then go back into the Vita plugins and just install the, the second shell bat um, that I'm going to be showing you guys in a few minutes, like a 30 seconds from now. But I wasn't too sure if that was going to mess something up or, or what, so I just decided just to be safe and uh, not install another uh, shell battery plugin without rebooting from uninstalling the very first one. So that's the reason why. Now I'm going to do that to the third one as well. I'm just not going to ins uninstall, then, re then install a plugin right then and there. I'm just a little nervous. I don't want anything to happen to the Vita. Vita uh, blah, 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 the Vita. So this is the second one. So after that's installed, just hit exit, and it's going to tell you the reboot. You have no choice, like I said earlier in the video. So please give this a few seconds. And uh, once it boots up, I'll show you the top of the screen, the taskbar. I'm just going to call it a taskbar. That's pretty much what it is, I guess. See, this one uh, shows the IP address um, and the percentage, which is rad, but I don't really have a use for an IP address. Um... Maybe, like I said earlier in the video, if you were a developer and you needed to swap, switch back and forth or something like that, um, maybe you could use that without writing it down. Or if you couldn't remember, you could always pick up your Vita and like, oh, there it is. This is my FTP IP address. But other than that, it's I really have no use for it. So load up auto plugins and uninstall this. I'm happy that somebody made something like that for the developers or anybody who's interested in having their IP address um, at the top of the taskbar, top of the screen. But for what I'm doing, I don't really need it. But I do appreciate the people, the person who decided to go out, out of their way to uh, create something like that. So this is a fresh reboot. Uh, from here, I'm gonna exit out of one menu, go back to Auto Plugins Two. It's Auto Plugin, but I call it Auto Plugins for some reason. I don't know why, but I'm fucking retarded or something. All right, the last but not least, Shell Mod. This one's cool. This one, uh, I was telling you that you could uh, see the different um, hard drive space on uh, two different drives and stuff like that. Um, you probably can't read that. I apologize because of the camera, the GoPro and shit. So um, so once that's installed, exit it, and you're going to be rebooting the whole system all over again for the third time. Hopefully the last time. Who knows? Depending on what you want to start with and what you, where you want to end up with, I guess. So let's open this bad boy up. Note, you cannot use the select and left and right bumpers or trigger buttons um, when you're in the one menu. Because if you hit select like I did, it brings up the file manager. So just keep that in mind, folks, please. Um, when you're at the bubble screen, the live screen, now you can use the select and the left and right bumpers or trigger buttons. See, it brings up the URO, the UXO. Tells you how much space you got and how many how much space you've used. Um, left and right bumpers or triggers, uh, they do the opposite. If you go URO first on the left hand side, of the left bumper, it'll start with the UXO first. So just a little hint and tip, I guess you could say. Easter egg? I don't know. But that's it. That's that's the um, shell battery mod percentage mod. I um 
I enjoy it, actually. The IP one, I could care less. Just the battery percentage mod is fine by me. Um, the one with the hard drive space and stuff like that, uh, I could take it or leave it, you know. I think I'm just going to st um, stick with just the battery percentage mod. Um, we don't have to enter in any other, like, keystrokes or button combinations to show random stuff. But um, that's it. I hope you guys enjoy. Please leave a like if you want. I've never said that before, but I don't know. I, I, do whatever you want to do. Uh, downvote it. Don't dislike it. Whatever. Um, please be safe out there. Be smart. Be kind to one another. And hopefully I'll catch you guys later in the next video. Thank you.